Welcome to Mountain Climbing Mondays, Glue and Capri Style. Some people say I talk too much and tell too much about my life. I feel like whatever. I talk about what's a part of all of our lives. I talk about things that most people won't talk about. And what I'm about to talk about today is the trials and tribulations of being a woman. I can't wait till March 3rd when I have my hysterectomy. When I tell you the first day of my cycle started, now let me say that again, the first day of my six-day stretch at my 9 to 5, the Enhancer, also started the first day of Aunt Flo making her monthly visit. The first day of my menstrual cycle since the age of 13. Pain beyond belief. And I know that there's someone out there that can relate. That's why I talk about it. Because it's real. It's reality. Women rule the world. We go to work. We do what we have to do. Get through what we have to get through. Do what we have to do to get through. But at this point in my life, my menstrual cycle has interfered, is interfered with my life to the point to where I can't do what I need to do in peace and on all levels to move to my next blue level as long as my menstrual cycle is around. I put it off long enough getting this procedure done and I can't wait anymore for a number of different reasons but the main reason I put it off because I've always wanted kids and the reason why I work with kids is because kids and I have always had that bond, that connection, that I can turn this around to my face. I really don't care. Oh, it was that light. That's why I wasn't shining on myself. I don't care. Um, this is life. This is Gluality. Welcome to Gluality TV. Um, my menstrual cycle has its interfering with me getting to where I want to go for my soul to be happy. And being 42, I know now I'm not going to have any children. So let's just go ahead and get this out the way. But it don't mean that not having children in my soul is A-OK. -okay. It's not. I'm, I'm now, days are counting down to surgery. I'm seeing pictures of my male ex that I was pregnant by had a miscarriage with. I'm seeing him and his children and he and I still have a connection because we're still friends but the connection of being pregnant and friends and on that level we're gonna always have that and be that so just watching his life his kids and we're talking about it of course it definitely hits home emotionally in my femininity and this is my I guess my glue moment, my moment to let's let's deal with this, heal with this, so I won't be walking dead, so my soul won't be killed. That's one of the things I teach the kid. We got to deal in order to heal so our soul won't be killed because there's a lot of people walking around dead and there's a part of me that's walking around dead and that's not what my glue personality, my soul, my everything is about. That's that that's aching me and that ache plus this physical ache plus my financial ache is making my mental ache and I can't afford for anything else to happen up in here or where I work I'll be nearer than near or I'm gonna have to find that out it gets clearer and clearer I don't know I'm gonna end that somehow I'm gonna finish I have to finish writing that but I see mental illness every day on so many levels and I know uh, I don't know for some of you that don't know I've had a, a number of concussions and well I don't want to get into that we'll talk about that later but you know we all got our own shit going on that's S-H-Y-T-Y-Y -Y. I'm working on not cursing but some shit just got to be said and I'm one of those people that was saying, which is why I'm always in mess, why some people ask, why you, you always got to be in something, because I speak up and speak on, and that's hashtag OWN, hey Oprah, um, I speak on things that the average person won't, and that gets me in situations that they won't, you know, so I get looked at extra and dealt with differently, 
and because I know my mouth won't fit in the corporate community, it's time to go because I'm tired of being quiet. That's not my voice is meant to be heard and I got to accept that. And I'm just going to put this out there. And somebody else is like that too. So that was for you too. We got to own our voice in the way that it was given to us. Even if it puts us in a situation that's uncomfortable to us. Because it ain't about us. You know, somebody else needed to be glued up this morning with this glue message. And I have to own that. That's my glue gift. And someone needing that from me is okay. You know, that, that's personal for me, and I have to work on that and and receive my gift, give my gift, and know that it's a gift and, and be okay with it. And for me, because it always brings back the backdraft, I don't like because I'm easy breezy, but it brings things where, you know, my life's been hard just on being Capri. And I'm going to stop right here because this thing got off into something else, but welcome inside the glue factory welcome to gluality tv um it's about to go down this hysterectomy is going to put me into a whole nother place physically where i can get my energy back focus on some other things because this takes up about two to three weeks out of every month i only have about one good week of glue saw and i'm tired of that my soul is tired of that what is meant for me to do with my life i don't want it to be taken away from me or me taken away from here without me climbing my monday mountain that's what this is about let me bring this back welcome to mountain climbing monday glue and capri style welcome it don't get no gluer it don't ladies out there suffering from femi from uh hysterectomies uh i'm sending you some glue energy more more glue to you the people that have to deal with us going through that, mmm, mmm, that's from my pinky toe, yes, be you be great, start your upper movement today for tomorrow is a promise, go out there and get yourselves tested for HIV AIDS and whatever you have to do, D-U-E, set time for you to step into your glue place at your glue time, go make that glue thing happen, even if it's going to take you through some different transitions, you know, in the end, you know what you need to do for you to get to where you want to go in this thing called life. That's Louis Capri, baby.